nice acceleration. We're going to go up and uh, go through a four-way stop, I believe, here. That's what I attempted to do, at least. You know, I was just going to go out and drive the other day because I've had a lot of comments. Why don't you just drive the car? Well, in all honesty, I don't want a car to drive me around. I really don't. But, that being said, I love this technology. I think this technology is absolutely awesome. If I ever thought that two things, if I owned a battery-powered car in my life, that would be a joke. The second thing is, if I ever had a car that could drive me around, I would have figured I'd be 150 years old. I am just extremely uh, pleased with this new technology. I think that uh, the capabilities for it, like uh, Uber or whatever, you know, robo taxi, if you want to call it that, I think are, you know, tremendous. Um, a friend, of, I, a friend of mine and I went to uh, actually a pub crawl uh, for a very worthy cause uh, on Saturday and um, sure enough we wound up taking an Uber home and it would have been really nice to summon my car and have my car come and pick us up and drive us home. And I never thought that that technology would be here in my lifetime. And I could die tomorrow, and I probably will, but nonetheless, uh, even coming close in my lifetime, it's pretty amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And to think that I'm driving around in a car that's battery powered, and we played with battery powered cars when we were kids. So, to, to think that, uh, you know, I'm driving around in one now is incredible. It's driving, but yet uh, I have no destination. So we probably will wait for that car, which it should. Yes, we are number one, and unfortunately there's nobody else here. But we're going to go back and forth on this intersection and just... Uh, do the four-way stops because from the very beginning this was very very good it waited its turn it knew um, who got where first and if somebody went out of turn it just you know okay I'll let you go and then I'm going um, and that was working perfectly but the traffic lights were working perfectly too. So now let's see if this is uh, broken or if this is still rock solid. Unfortunately, nobody's coming from the other direction except, well, there is now, but we would have been there way, way too early for them. And it would have been foolish to try to wait for them. So um, we're gonna go back again and try this over see if it makes any difference. Unfortunately, there's no real traffic, everything was fine. Well, I'm sorry it's not busier here at this intersection because ah, it should have been a little bit quicker. Uh, well, we got a couple of cars here. Okay, and who's going to be first here? 
Okay, is anybody going to go? No, nobody's going to go. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go. Okay. Because I would have thought that the, that Napa vehicle, the delivery driver, would have gone. He got there first, I thought. And so, therefore, it was waiting on that car. He, of course, was waiting on us. And um, so the other car said, if nobody's going, I'm going. But you can see that was an unusual situation and it handled it fine. It did start to go and then when that car went, okay, I'm going, you know, so. Okay, our turn is actually now, but yep, yeah, oh my god, it went. Thank you. That's perfect. That was perfect. Okay, and we should be before this truck and we should go and we do oh that was awesome that was awesome like we're not well it depends on whether who gets here first we're technically here first and we're going okay it did that perfect <laughs> 